was that? Are you shitting on me? Are you shitting on me? Hi, I'm Red Wants Candy, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to survive your first night in Terraria. And um, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Select your character. Okay, we're hopping in the game now. Uh, okay, you're going to be using um, A and D to navigate left, D uh, for right, A for left. Uh, Spacebar is going to be to jump. Right, now starting off, you're going to notice you have a guide near you. He's always going to spawn at the beginning of the game near you, and you're going to go ahead and uh, hit the right mouse button to uh, initiate a conversation with him. Greetings, Red. Is there something I can help you with? Ooh, bad accent. Uh, let's see. Now you're gonna help. You can use your pickaxe to dig through dirt, and your axe to chop down trees. Just place your cursor over the tile and click. Okay, uh... Yeah, so we're gonna do what he says. You're gonna... Say, take your pickaxe. We're gonna go ahead and... Clear this out a little more. Uh, actually, we're gonna take the axe first. Now, uh, you're just gonna left-click on your mouse and start cutting. And a little tip on cutting trees is to uh, go ahead and cut the base right at the base, otherwise you'll be left with a stump. And you're not going to get as much wood and you're going to have to take just as long chopping down that stump. And that's too much time. Too time consuming. You go ahead and gather a decent amount of wood, enough to build a uh, starter home. Get you through your first night. Now that's done, go ahead and uh, switch to your pickaxe. And uh, while we're here, uh, to go ahead and do that, you're going to want to hit, uh, say, 1, 2, 3. Or you could uh, scroll through your hotbar uh, with your mouse wheel. So we're going to switch to the pickaxe. Oop, hostile. Uh, okay, this is a slime. They are out during the day, and they're pretty numerous, so they're going to get annoying really fast. That's a sufficient amount of room. And we're going to go ahead and take this wood that you've been chopping and place that as... Uh, we're going to make a floor. So just uh, left-click on your mouse. You can run with it if you want. Right a little quicker. Yeah, that should be enough. Get up. Uh, we're going to build the wall. There we go. Okay. Now that we're in here... Go ahead and press escape. That is how you're going to access your crafting menu. Once we're in here, right now we can't build too much. This as well, once you click in it, you can scroll with your mouse wheel uh, to select items. Now, uh, as you noticed before, we killed that slime. That gives us normally coins and gel. Gel is going to be used along with wood to create torches, and you're going to need a few of those. So. Uh, before we build anything else, you're going to need a workbench. Let's go ahead and get one. And that requires ten pieces of wood, I believe. So, go ahead and tap exit to uh, escape, my bad, uh, to log back out of your crafting menu. Go ahead and pick up my workbench. And you're just going to left click on the mouse to place that. Now, once you're within a uh, pretty close vicinity of the workbench, you can tap escape again and. Oh, I don't have much wood on me, so... There usually is a much larger variety of items to create. I'll go ahead and... I'll get some wood. I'll go ahead and show you. I'll show you what you got. You got some uh, chairs, tables, uh, doors. Uh, basic stuff for uh, adding stuff within your home. home. Also, while we're here, might as well show you. Uh, take acorns. You get those uh, from trees once they're dropped. And what that does, it just allows you to replant trees. If it'll let me. There we go, there we go. Okay. Ooh, go ahead and lock this guide in here with me. Yeah. Not getting out. Okay, now, I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to show you. You can make a, a bow. You'll probably need that later on. Um, some arrows, a wooden hammer. A hammer is used to uh, 
destroy these walls right here. Let's go ahead and make some. You're going to want to put some, uh... Oh, need more that. You're going to want to go ahead and get some walls. And you're going to use that to place... It's kind of like a backdrop. You just kind of paste it over. And you'll notice that's on a different layer from the rest of the game. This is going to keep mobs from, uh, spawning within your home. I believe. And, uh... That's fine right there, but I I don't really like looking at it like that. It's pretty messy. I'm going to clean it up. Okay. Let's see. I'll go ahead and make a torch. You're going to want to place some torches in here. Go ahead and put those in. I believe you get three torches at a time when you do create them. It's another thing. While you're carrying the torch, it actually gives off a uh, pretty decent area of light while it's in your hand, and uh, you're just going to go ahead and left-click to place that. Put two of them in. Okay, now that we have that done, let's go back in here, and let's see. Well, we could make a tiki torch. I might slap one of those outside. Yeah. Um, wooden platforms. Now this, I believe, I'm not, I haven't really gotten too far into this game myself, but I've been placing these as uh, ladders. I'm not sure if that's what they're function for, but you can hop on it, and then once you're on it, just uh, make them go up a wall and just tap S, and you will climb down it. So uh, W and S are going to what you be what you're going to be using to climb ladders and uh, such. But we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to make a door so we can get out of here. This is going to be your basic home, though, uh, and this is going to get you through the night. Now that we've placed uh, the door, you're going to click the right mouse button to open and close that. Ah, uh, no. There's nothing you can help me with. Actually, yes, you can uh, get out. Would you kindly? Would you kindly? Go. I cast thee out. Get out! Yeah, that did the job. Okay. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Huh, looks like a nifty shelf. Okay, uh, so, um... Let's see, uh... I'll go ahead and zip forward to a clip from night. That way you can, uh... You can go ahead and see some of the various monsters. Monsters that they have in here. Ooh. Wow. It's pretty gory. Okay, it's getting pretty close to night time. I went ahead and started up the video again. Uh, while I was away, though, I figured out... I did not know this, actually. Uh, you can entice other characters to play with... Oh, the zombies are coming. To live in your homes that you build. And all that it requires is a light source, walls, a table, and a chair, which you can see I've built in, and uh, doors, if I didn't already say that. And apparently you can have them uh, live in your homes. I thought that was pretty cool. Let's see. Slime has an um, affinity for my home, I guess. Hmm. Okay. That was a hell. I'm gonna go show you. Uh, take a closer look at the zombies. Wow. Come on. Wow. <laughs> I'm getting whooped by a slime. An amorphous blob. Come on. Looks like I'm not going to be able to go that way. Hey, you cool little bunny. Hey there. Oh, God. Oh, wow. This was not smart. Oh, my torch does not work underwater. I think I'm getting up. Oh, there's a demon eye right over there. There we go. I was gonna shout a spell, but uh not very familiar with any. Ah. Eh. Okay, that's pretty much it though. I mean we'll skip out on getting a close look at the zombies. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, uh, subscribe. Feel free to share this video with your friends. I wouldn't mind that of course. And, uh, 
avoid doing this on your first night. And I will see you next time. Uh, just, yeah, if you want to see more uh, videos like this, go ahead and like it. And a fallen star. It's-a me! Okay. Well, goodbye.